Hi, I'm Alan from Bay Lily Bell Tents and I'm here today with one of our big birthers doing some end of season checks. The sun is shining and I thought what better opportunity to get it out of the bag and check it because I know the last couple of jobs of the season, it, when it was out, it went away, not damp, but you know, it was a wet weekend so we wanted to check. Um, now it's actually dry, I've dried it already, but it doesn't hurt to get it out because we're going to put it away in the bag for six months and there's a few things we like to check. So when it comes to damp, as well as just the canvas as a whole, the areas we like to check are underneath the flaps and flanges, all the way round, especially round the bottom where the zip goes, and that's inside and outside. So you want to check that. Where you have the A-frame pole and it goes down into little pockets, check them for damp. They're very easy because they're a different fabric in the, these tents, so it's very easy that they can still be damp while the rest of this is bone dry. Um, other areas to check where the center pole goes at the foot because that depresses that could also get some moisture and water in there so check there when you're taking the pole out um, other than that that's just the key areas to check for dampness and wet you know you don't want to do that when we wrap this away later today because the grass is damp we're going to fold it in half we're going to towel dry the ground sheet and then leave that for 10 minutes in the sun and then so on and so forth until it puts away what I would recommend doing is just checking that the inside of your bag isn't wet. We have had that in the past where we put a tent away from a wet job and when we've opened the, the bag to dry it, the bag's soaking wet. So we need to make sure the bag is dry as well before it goes away for the winter. A couple of other places to check the damp just because you want to keep your kit nice and clean and good working order. Make sure your pole bag's dry, make sure your peg bag's dry. Now, interestingly, as I was doing the end of season checks on this one, um, the reason the peg bag's not here is because I noticed the rubber on the end of the pole had sort of started to break away. So just to get it up today for the check, and actually we have used this before on personal camping, is you can put the peg bag over the top of the pole and that will just help protect it for a short period of time. But Basically, after you've done that, get it down and get the rubber replaced. So that will be on our repair list this winter. Other things to check all the way around. Your eyelets, do any of these need repairing? Your rubbers, are they okay? How are your guys? How are the guys where they connect? Are they all okay? Are your zips in good working order? Have you lost any zips in while you've been camping? I mean, you can always attach a key ring or something sparkly and lovely to replace a, a, a zip pull. But, uh, you know, if the actual zip's broken, then that might need repairing as well. Other key areas of wear and tear you find along here, especially on tent designs from a few years ago before they sort of made the doors fractionally bigger. These would pull up once the middle peg was in. And we found that these were always kind of slowly starting to rip. You can stop, also help stop that by making sure these front two guys aren't too tight. I've actually got a video about that coming soon. And other than that, just make sure it's clean and dry. Give the inside a sweep out. Get in there with a bit of cleaning, you know, whether that's a bit of soap and water or a, a nice environmentally, environmentally friendly product like Co. Not sponsored, that's just what we use. And make sure your ground sheet's nice and clean. Make sure there's no water on the inside. Run a towel around it. That's the best thing to do. Um, any questions, just ask and we'll happily answer them. Hope you had a fab glamping season. Enjoy the winter and next spring we will all be back out glamping. Thank you. Bye.